We're golden. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob yeah, in the building! Yeah. Hell yeah! Awesome 316, baby! Fellas, uh, I appreciate you guys being here, man. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. Uh, before we get started, am I allowed to ask your names, your location, or is it a complete mystery? Uh, and then, of course, please plug and promote anything you'd like. Yeah, we're in Tennessee. Um in a rat's nest somewhere down in here. Um, I'm, I play guitar. I'm JQ. <clears throat> Izzy, do vocals. And Chris, play drums. Um, yeah, we just put our fucking EP out, Torture Portrait, on April 11th. It's been out about a month now. Um, it's so, yeah, fan it's fantastic, by the way. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, last night, we spent about, what, uh, six or seven, eight hours uh doing a video for hell so we're editing that up working on that shit right now so i don't know maybe in a couple weeks or so that'll be out very cool i i jammed the whole ep today and uh while jamming i noticed that it's it seems like it's been a while coming to get this ep out with mono starting in 2019 and then a newer version being on the ep i imagine covid did cause some setbacks, but is there any other reasons why it took so long to get the EP just right? Uh, what, what didn't go wrong? Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess COVID had something to do with it. Obviously, it made it a little harder to get together. And but we were doing the whole. The main thing, I guess, was the machine that we were mixing this shit on. Um, it was just really old, and uh, that was part of the mixing process. Was frustrating as fuck um when you have to essentially we would have to like bounce the mix down listen to the whole damn song make some notes go back to the session and turn all of the effects off because if we had it on while while the song was being mixed it would just turn into a a, a mess of noise um so that was frustrating um we're all fucking depressed as shit and just deal with a bunch of shit in general so you know shit takes time and with music that's like this with it being as I guess emotional as it is, you can't really force that. You know what I'm saying? So if it's not like the right mood, if if he's not pissed off and ready to do some fucking vocals, then it's not the right day. You know? So did it's you, just art. It did you did you end up getting a new computer or mixing setup, or did you go to a particular producer to have it finished? No, we uh, we do all this shit ourselves. Mostly Izzy um, is behind the uh, computer. We. We did get a new machine, so we're all upgraded and ready to go, but we forced ourselves to finish the fucking EP on the old one before we transferred all of the plugins and all that shit over, you know? So, yeah. you know, right at the moment, we're, we have to build back up our little mix session to, um, to get back to the kind of mix standard that we had before. And I will say next time we put a release out, it's not going to be until the whole fucking thing is done, um, the whole album. So, and that's another thing. Like, we, we didn't really do this EP correctly um we we did the songs in separate sessions and then released them and then at the end we kind of had to put them all together and you know we couldn't we had to do a new mix of whirl uh we did a whole new retrack and new mix of mono um so you know little bumps and shit along the way to that you know we had to figure out but I think it was worth it man the the new the new mixes sound superb like they're really really tight for sure uh, Izzy, they, do you do you perform in the the scarecrow hood hood thing? Um, no, not not typically. Yeah, not in the not in the booth. No, I mean, when we booth. get out on the road, yeah, we'll be all. That's what I, that's what I remember, like for for live show reasons. Oh yeah, so we haven't. So since speaking about COVID, we <laughs> we first shot that mono video in November of 2019. Um, so by the time we were starting to think about shows and stuff, everything kind of shut down. So, um, it was also at a time in our lives where we all had been playing for 10 plus years and touring and shit. So it was nice to kind of have a break for a few last few years off the road and just worry about writing some music and shooting videos and, and doing that thing. So, um, we're definitely on the cusp of, uh, putting the live set together and doing something with it. Um, 
it's just got to be the right thing, you know? I don't want to try to rush anything. I get it. So when you say 10 plus years, you mean like previous bands and then you guys all became friends and just formed this giant super group? Well, yeah, if you want to call it that. Uh, yeah, so Rotnest has only existed, you know, since late 2019. We still have yet to play a show as this band with the masks and this these songs. Um, we all, we've, we've all played in other bands in the past and even toured together in the past so with a different band. But um, but yeah, so this this we're we're treating a little bit differently and taking our time with some things. And I, I want I would like the first show to be a, a production, if that makes sense. Definitely. It, did when you guys formed Rodness was the idea just to make I are actually coming off a tour together <clears throat> and uh, we ended up working at the same place like I went on the the run the day I quit my job and all this shit so um I <laughs> went on tour without a job he hooked me up with a place so um we kind of you know met through that um yeah the moment. first time I ever met he was our first practice for that tour and then i think we went out the next couple of days but we hit it off pretty quickly um and then we were co-workers and then that kind of just naturally progressed to yeah and i writing um, music i had so i had i had had mono written um you know right around that time and kind of just brought it in and was like you know i just want to make the heaviest fucking shit i possibly can like just to kind of get shit out um and that's really it. Just keep it heavy, emotional. Emotion and, uh, is the biggest thing. I mean, if at some point in our careers, if if a song comes out that's not as heavy as the others, I think as long as the emotion is right, that's the most important thing. Do you, Do you anticipate future music being not nearly as heavy, but still just as emotional? Uh, yes and no. I don't. I don't think anything's off the table. I don't want to be shoehorned into like a deathcore category. Um, but that's not to say we're going to start fucking trying to write radio songs. Um, authenticity yeah, sure. is the most important thing to me right now. The songs that we're making are conducive to really heavy shit. Um, they probably will continue to be so, you know, but that doesn't mean just like there's in Chimera, there's a little trap section. And that's something that I want to kind of expand upon in, in the future and use more instruments and more sounds and things like that. But I don't think there would. I can't imagine there not being a pretty damn heavy element to rot nest for oh yeah no i would for sure like <clears throat> I, I, rot nest will always be heavy in some regard like sonically um, right i would say and uh but definitely just want to expand on that and i mean i'm really into like ambient uh you know fucking huge massive sounds and stuff like that i really want to double down on that and uh really expand on the sound and you know i guess everyone tries to <laughs> kind of come up with something unique and whatnot and yeah i'm kind of in that that mode right now trying to really dig deep and see what i can pull out of my my fucking head here <laughs> izzy are you open to doing a feature like if, if another artist would would want your vocals on a song is that something you're you're open to oh yeah for sure um well, we, so we did. We yeah. he, he he has done one. I won't tell you who it's with yet, but uh, there is an album from another band that will be coming out. Who the fuck knows when that <laughs> Izzy's on? So, we've done one. Yeah, I I won't tell you who and or when because I don't know. I do know who, but uh, yeah, that's re that's one we're really excited about. Um, he's on like the whole goddamn song, so it's it's more oh, than yeah. a feature. It's like a it's like a you know. Yeah, that's cool. So, Hell yeah. Super stoked on that one. If uh, let's do some fun ones and then we'll do some trivia. Well, before we get to the trivia, did you guys were you guys able to bring any hot sauce? So we have some, we have some golden, oh, no, the holy grail, Taco Bell's Diablo Excellent. sauce. Excellent. Uh, it totally worked. It's it, it's doable. It's doable. It's the holy grail right there. Hell yeah. Right, you know, that's, that's all you need, baby. It's not great, but uh, give me some of that shit, homie. You know, it'll spice the mouth a little bit for sure. <laughs> Uh, let's say we'll do a couple phones before we get to the trivia though. Uh, let's say hypothetically a label comes along 
I, I'm unaware if you guys are signed, but I'm just gonna fathom that you're not just at this moment. But okay, it, let's say right. a label comes along and wants to give you guys a ten million dollar per member signing bonus. So you're crazy. You're no. Okay. But, <laughs> but but I was gonna ask is what would you spend the money on if you if you can't spend it on your family and you can't spend it on more gear? What is just some fun stuff you guys are spending on now that you can do music full time to the world? If we're talking hypothetically and we're not selling the uh, the rights to our our art, you know what I'm saying, in, gotcha. in a contract in that way, then I would get a, a few more guitars for sure. Yeah. Um, I would put a down payment on a fucking house because it's 2023 and shit's insane and the house housing market and renting sucks right now. Uh, I'm trying to be an adult. Those are actually the two things you're not guitar. allowed to answer God. about, though, was the house I, and I gear. Pounds and pounds of weed. There you go. Just a, Smoke last weed every day. Indica, indica, sativa, or hybrid? Uh, yes. Uh, I guess, like, what's the adage? Into couch, right? I, tr I would like to be as sedated as possible, so I guess I would lean to toward an indica. What about you boys? I'm more of a sativa kind of, kind okay. of guy. Chris doesn't smoke. Yeah, I don't smoke. It freaks sure. him out. Oh, sure. sure. I'm a. I don't really know what I'm smoking when I'm smoking. I just put all my nugs in a jar. But uh, I guess, yeah, I guess, probably weird. normally a sativa guy. I just, I typically order whatever has the highest percentage of THC. I have a problem. I'm not proud of it. It's a, it's an addiction. <laughs> it's, it's a good problem. It's a good problem. You want to get yeah, high? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, to do the to, to do the trivia, I need to know what movie or TV show you guys have seen the most if you could agree on one either movie or tv show what airplane? have you seen the most <laughs> yeah that's that's what i was gonna say airplane? airplane the original airplane comedy yeah yeah leslie nielsen okay cool give me a second to look up some trivia uh what song would you like me to play of your guys's while we're we got you here and i can uh, do, i can do a video too if you prefer yeah. me to do a video that's well if I throw the mono video up there the you new the new mix of mono yeah. that's good an airplane, give me a second on that. Leslie Nielsen trivia, let's go, dude. R.I.P. Yeah. yeah. You guys, we're hanging out with Rotnest. If you're watching, please go on Spotify, hit the follow button, support them. Go on YouTube, slap a subscribe right there. Mono, new version. Well, let's do, let's do a, a little trivia here and uh, see if I can stump you guys one time. All right, In so what are we... What do we, if we get it wrong, we got to suck down this hot sauce packet or what's up? Whether you get it right or wrong, I'm doing hot sauce. If you get it wrong, just, uh, yeah, just enjoy the, okay. the Diablo right there. Yeah, we got it. But so you picked it, so the you probably won't get some, but let's find out. Here we go. In airplane, what kind of car does Paul take to pick up Captain Kramer? It's like a, it's like a... Lincoln? Is it a Lincoln? It may not be a Lincoln. It's like the one really boxy ones, it's like GTA, San Andreas. You know what I'm talking oh. about? Uh, I have no clue. Fuck. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, I'm hot sauce. Are we going with the Lincoln final answer? Or you need that's not the final okay, answer. Yeah, that's that is not correct. <laughs> the answer Although, is, is a Mustang. A Mustang. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. Enjoy right. the hot sauce. I'm gonna do some hot sauce with you. It's called Cowboy Bacon from Argentina. It's pretty damn hot, and uh, we'll we'll do some more questions. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a I, I'm not a car guy. I'm sorry if I yeah, disappoint anybody. Either. Yeah, Woo! I wish we had hot sauce too. I mean, Diablo's great. And yeah, this but... is fine. No, no, Diablo is good. It's good, but oh, should I just ate the whole packet? <laughs> well, but you know there's another one. That'll somewhere. work too. Right. <laughs> the whole packet will work. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's say let's say uh, it's it's December of of this year. What would you guys like to accomplish from now till then? Mm. Oh, that's a great question. So um, we've talked about, well, so we, we did the hell video yesterday. Um, today we've been editing that. Um, I've gotten everything kind of lined up and going through clips of what is, what are the best takes and shit. Um, and then Hunter is, will be uh, editing it and coloring it up and stuff. So he's our, he's our video guy. So follow at pixel.dealer. Um, by that time, I would definitely like to have something planned show-wise, maybe a weekender, um, and definitely hopefully some progress on the album by that time. That's the next up uh, would be uh, getting to the album.
So there's a lot, a lot more of writing has has been going down since since the EP has been released. Like the the album tracks are starting to fill up, as far as getting closer to that. There's a lot of shit, and there has been a lot of shit in the Google Drive, and we kind of got we got together on it like a couple months ago when we were like, there's probably like two albums worth of shit in here, but it was all written by the you know it took so fucking long to get this shit out. All this stuff for the most part that was in the Google Drive at that point was from like 2020, 2021. Um, so we took like maybe the two songs, believe, and a demo called, well, I won't, I won't say the name, that'll give away where we are. Um, King, um, we have two demos pretty much that are fleshed out that I've written, uh, structurally, uh, instrumentally. He's got a few more that he's written. So let's say what, there's maybe six, five, six, seven <laughs> demos floating around yeah, that we're working yeah. on at the moment. There's a lot for... of shit there. I've kind of consolidated yeah. some of it and. You know, and plus it's like you kind of change your headspace after so long. You know, even a year or two is like, fuck, you know, I go back and listen. I'm like, I don't know. I kind of want to just, you know, maybe not use that or go a different direction or something like that. So, but yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff kind of floating around or, you know, steal a riff from here, throw it in somewhere else or mm-hmm. rework it and stuff like that. And then, of course, yeah, a couple like fleshed out songs that we'll keep and, you know, touch up and everything for sure. Definitely. For sure. Um, <clears throat> Do you guys have any any odd hobbies? Like when you're not not hanging out with family, not working on music, this is a weird hobby. Maybe something uh, collectible that every time you see a new one, you gotta buy it. I've recently mm-hmm. gotten into airsoft with oh. our uh, videographer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where's it? You got the rifle around here, Hunter? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, got airsoft. Airsoft. Um, I'm an unbelievably big fan of wrestling. I have the Stone Cold hoodie. I also have, I also have Stone Cold on my leg, and one for the Undertaker and one for Kane. Do you do you ever go uh, to like uh like wrestling cons or anything to meet them? Nah, fuck that. I just go to the shows and watch, dude. Hell yeah. So yeah, here's here's what we blast people with on the weekend. Sometimes this is an airsoft rifle. Let me be very clear. This is not a real gun. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of fun. Airsoft wrestling. I used to skateboard, but I'm too old for that. I've had too many knee surgeries. Who's the mm. best wrestler of all time? Fuck. Okay, well, I, my favorite of all time is Chris Jericho. The best wrestler might be Kurt Angle. It could be Chris Benoit. It could be Eddie Guerrero. RIP. A <laughs> couple of RIPs any right of those, there. Any of those really technical dudes. That's my That's my type of shit. I'm a I'm a huge Stone Cold and Rock fan, but I think my most, but yeah, the, mostly because they're talking. But as far as like entertainment, I always love Rey Mysterio. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, okay, yeah. Rey Mysterio is yeah. super cool. Did you watch his his uh, his match against his son at Rey, at uh, at uh, WrestleMania? They I had a fuck did not. Well, go back and watch it because that match was sponsored by Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and it's fucking hilarious. On the barricades, there's these little cartoon Cinnamon Toast Crunch pieces. Had me cry. I was high as fuck when I was watching it, but it made me. I was rolling. <laughs> All right, hell yeah, cool. Do Do you guys anticipate having a feature on the album when it comes out, roughly sometime in twenty twenty four? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go ahead and throw it out there. Nick Chance, that's our homie. He was in Distinguisher, R.I.P. Distinguisher. Uh, he Nick just went out with Lorna Shore. He's a hell of a. He did the video for Whirl. Um, he's a photographer extraordinaire. Um, would love to have him on the album. <laughs> we'll see. Um, cool. that's the only, that's the only like definite, definite, I think at this point, right? For sure. Yeah. Okay. I, I cool. want Nick on there. Yeah. Let's try one more airplane trivia real quick. One right, more go. airplane trivia. <laughs> yeah. In airplane, it's a little bit of an easier one. There's a kid named Joey on the plane and he's reading a magazine. What is the name of the magazine he's reading? It's a, it's like basically like a parody of an adult, adult yeah. magazine. I was gonna say Playboy, but it's not Playboy. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Fuck, dude! I don't. Man, you got me stumped. It? The name of the magazine. Let me Google it real quick. The answer is Nun's Life. No. <laughs> Nun's no! Life. God damn it! The sexy nuns. Fuck. No worries. No worries, no worries. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, you... we got to suck down some hot sauce for that one. Where'd my packet go? Yeah, I'll do one more. I got I got this uh this blueberry hellfire hot sauce that's oh, made shit. made with real blueberries right here. Um, that's oh, no way. Big blueberry. Fan. I've been I've listen, uh, blueberry blueberry hot wings have recently become uh aware to me on my radar and I'm really trying to get some. Yo, I've Georgia. never had that. I got to have that. There's a place in Georgia apparently called Railhouse that has blueberry hot wings. I would try it for sure. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Do you guys play video games? Oh yeah, happily. Just give me, yeah. just give me two or three a game you're playing right now, and then uh, just probably the game that you've put the most hours <laughs> into ever. Uh, for me, well, yeah, Battlefield Four for sure. I, I put Classic. so much time into that game. It's a good one. You're playing GTA Five too. He does that oh, role play shit. Yeah, on Five M. It's crazy. People are like, <laughs> it's like a second job they don't get paid at. They'll dedicate <laughs> free time into working fake jobs and in game. I just seen the other day that like a bunch of Grand Theft Auto Six stuff leaked on online, and and Rockstar it, was like shutting it down left it, and right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm stoked for it, but we probably won't see it for like five more years. For real, yeah. at least a couple more years. <clears throat> you got Izzy. Um, what am I playing right now? Resident Evil Four. Did you finish that? Um, I, I've got like two or three hours left till it's like I'm done with that. Um, what else am I playing? I'm tra- okay, so I mean, if we're talking like in terms of the most hours I spend a game, it's kind of hard to not say like World of Warcraft and <laughs> shit. You just put a bunch uh, into Elden Ring. I mean, lately. yeah, like I'm obviously that is a probably super super Demon Souls huge like Souls, Souls fan from software. Fucking every game slabs every Dark Soul every. Yeah, they they don't miss in my opinion. So like that, that's like the highest regard for me. Um, also play a lot of UFC four. Okay. Uh, huge MMA fan, and that's like that's the go to game for like come home unwind. I gotta I have to play UFC four to like sleep. Smash on some people. Do you, do you watch all the all the pay per views and all that stuff? Oh yeah, you do. Yeah. Very cool. Hell yeah. Um, let's see. I got a couple more for you guys. Uh, I'm just trying to wing a couple of questions here. So, so is it safe to say buffalo wings are is probably one of the favorite foods? I love wings. Ooh, I don't know about right. buffalo wings. They're those are fine, but I would probably go with like mango habanero or mm, yep, um, the garlic. Like what are that? What is that? Like garlic, garlic butter parm. thingy? Garlic parm. Parm. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I fucking I love me some good chicken wings. No, yeah. Um, I got food poison like two weeks ago. Off home, so I won't <laughs> touch them again. Yeah. For like years. Chris has got a, a bubble gut. <laughs> uh, do, do you guys have any phobias? Anything that freaks you out? <clears throat> hmm. Everything. I, was, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say, like, my closest legitimate phobia is, like, water. You know, pretty common one. But, like, fucking stranded out in the middle of the ocean. Okay. Hell okay. no. Just... Or like, uh, so like no deep sea diving from a boat in the middle of the ocean. No, no, I, I'd sooner fucking get up, jump on a rocket probably. I don't know. I get, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that that kind of that does it for me. Um, so it's just the fucking you know out in the ocean looking down into the the, the abyss, lassophobia, and then you got the lassophobia. Yeah, that's a song by a band called Lines in the Sky that are fucking awesome. They're from Nashville. You should check them out. A little plug right there. What about, what about you, Chris? Um, I'm not in the band. I just love it. I can't name the actual phobia, but it's like holes in places where they shouldn't be. Oh, that tripophobia? Yeah, thing? that, yeah. Nah, that's just, mm. You do the heebie-jeebies and stuff, for sure. Yeah, like the lotus boob image, if you guys have ever seen that. Oh, it's, nah, yeah. Absolutely not. I can't think of any, like, I mean, I'd be scared. To, I'd be afraid of a fucking bear coming at me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck wouldn't? Um... I don't know, man. Existential loneliness. That's why you want to get deep. That's my, that's my phobia. <laughs> it's already there, though. It's fine. Aside from the original mixing troubles with the computers and all that stuff, with that aside, what song was the hardest to complete? Maybe hell. there was a particular... Hell? Why hell? I wrote the instrumental in 2020, and it's just a... It's like a weird, <coughs> slow for us song like a low and slow I, I, that's the only song that i've done with the uh, h string it's in c sharp so it's like pretty damn low um and there's not a lot of like riffing in it um it's just like a more 
it was kind of designed to just show off his fucking vocals and he hit some fucking high ass crazy shrieks and some low shit in there so it was really kind of designed to give him a, a an opportunity to go off and it was it was tough because it's like a weird i think it's probably in four four but the way that the the hits line up it doesn't really feel like it so um it's an odd song um it's definitely different for us and it's a different like it's basically it's like like a verse or two of the breakdown and then the ending verse which is a different it's just it's a weird song yeah i mean i feel like that's that's fair hell was yeah. pretty difficult like um even like the patterns like i you know had like a couple different demos uh, oh torrent uh, you know, well that was Whole- yeah. Holy that's what I was initially fuck, talking. I forgot it. I like blocked that out of my memory because it was so fucking... Fr- <laughs> yeah. There's a key change in that song, and oh, I just... Well, yeah, I could not good. fucking figure out how to make it happen, and then finally I we we nailed the, the, the lead that needed to happen at the second half of the song, and there's not there's not often key changes in heavy, chuggy music, so um, I really wanted to like make that happen in that specific spot, and I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. I've heard that song too many times, though. So, <laughs> <laughs> I got two more for you guys, and we'll let you go. Uh, being that you've been in multiple bands prior to Rottenest, tell me some form of advice that you'd have for a band that's just stuck in their garage right now that wants to get out and, and do things, or a terrible mistake you made at some point in your career that you don't want a starting up band to make. Don't play your hometown every month um you know if tool came to your city once a month at some point everybody would stop fucking showing up nobody gives a shit go go out you know if that's not feasible that's one thing um but especially if it is um if you want to you know if you want to spread the gospel you go you go somewhere else other than the same fucking venue every month um yeah that is a super important one i feel too that and the the gear trap is very real feeling like you have to have the best shit or whatever Absolutely. to Fuck yeah. the gear trap. Yeah. The gear tra- um, you can make it work with damn near anything if you're dedicated enough. Um, yeah, I think like having the right drive and mindset too to like just do shit on your own too. Oh yeah, that's it. You don't need to go to we do all I we do all of our own tracking. I recorded all of this EP in a in my old apartment's kitchen. We mixed the whole thing in his back room. You don't have to go to a fucking. It'd be it's cool. It'd be cool if you know. It'd be a fun little experience. But like, what? We don't need to. We can track everything we need to, and we can do drums in the living room if we need. We can do guitar in the fucking kitchen if we. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gotten more accessible over the years. You know, like plugins are, mm-hmm. you know, fucking improving every day. Uh, yeah. You know that being said, like you want good mixes and everything, and like by no means I, you know, I don't feel that like I have the best mixes in the world, <clears throat> anything like that. Um, but it's just, we took the time to do it and. You know, I'm content with how it sounds. You know, for the most part. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> so, I'm really uh, proud of the mix on the on the like, EP. Came a long way, for sure. Yeah, yeah it's it's really. It's a lot of trial and error, but it's worth yeah. it. And if it's it can be very overwhelming to learn a whole DAW, but. Um, social media. What what is the DAW you guys use? Just as a bonus question. Old Reaper. Reaper is what everything is mixed in. I primarily have tracked everything in Logic to this point, and I'm tr- <coughs> I'm pulling my teeth out trying to get used to tracking in Reaper. I like editing it. I like mixing in it. I like doing production in it, but I just don't like fucking tracking on, on a Windows machine at all. Um, so I'm diehard Reaper. Like, yeah, it's, it, it is that. what it is. Cool. Last question I got for you guys. Is it okay if you do a drop for me? Hey, we're Rottenest. You're watching local man smoke out, but you can just kind of do it any way you any way you'd like to do it. Mr. Bubba. Uh, okay, all right. <clears throat> hey, we're rotten us. You're watching local band smoke out. Thanks for coming. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed. I love it, fellas. It's a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you guys. Wishing you nothing but success. The EP is fantastic. Cheers, you, and uh, we look forward to the album coming out sometime next year, man. Fuck yeah, dude. and Izzy, uh, and your feature when we know about it, we'll be jamming it for sure. Absolutely. You'll know about it. Thank you, my man. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Rodgers! Hell yeah. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah, man.